Sacred is an action role-playing game for Microsoft Windows and Linux released in 2004. It takes place on the magical continent of Ancaria, with characters of various races Dark Elf, Vampirus, Dwarf, etc. each with their own missions. More than 1.8 million copies of the game were sold worldwide. Two expansion packs were released for the game in 2004 and 2005. In 2008, Linux Game Publishing announced that they would port the game to the Linux operating system. Sacred was developed by Studio 2 Software and Askren Entertainment and published in 2004 by Encore in the USA release. Topic: <laughs> Gameplay. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Characters. Upon beginning the game, players are given a choice to start with one of six different character types – Gladiator, Dark Elf, Wood Elf, Vampirus, Battle Mage and Seraphim. The Demon and Dwarf were additional characters added in the expansion Sacred Underworld and included in Sacred Gold. Each character begins in a different part of the area around a town in Ancaria the continent that Sacred takes place within, and with a different starting quest. For example, the gladiator starts in a coliseum, enslaved by his master, while the seraphim starts in a church. The dark elf starts on a cliff with a wood elf companion. Throughout the game, the characters all receive different sub-quests. Each character class is also restricted to a certain set of items, and has a different set of skills. To increase these skill levels, characters must find runes that correspond to those skills, a rather novel system in contrast to the more mainstream model of skill points. Some character classes have identical skills, but the runes from one class cannot be used to advance skills in another class. Runes may be traded and used for crafting. <laughs> items. Sacred features a vast array of items that can be obtained from shops, various containers, chests, barrels, graves, dead monsters or magical hiding places in many of the rocks and bushes throughout Ancaria, which are indicated by a yellow sparkle. Many of the items can be only equipped by one type of character, like wings, which can only be equipped by a seraphim. There are also several potion types, such as the typical health heal, but there are other types, like potions of undead death, which stops undead from reviving once players kill them, and potions of concentration, which regenerate players' combo attacks so they can be used faster. There are no mana heal potions in Sacred, because mana is not a feature of the game. Also, monsters occasionally drop a rune that increases a certain skill for a certain character, if used. If the player owns a horse several different types of saddles can be bought to be used on it. These saddles increase the speed, defense, and damage done by the horse. Only one horse may be owned at a time, and the horse can be damaged and killed. The names of items are in five different colors, white, blue, yellow, brown, green which represent different quality classes of equipment. Sometimes, a monster drops a set item. Much like in Diablo 2 these set items will become much more powerful when gathered together and are very useful and sought after in multiplayer games. However, this is not to say that unique items are inferior to set items. Unique items are usually individually better than set items. Some items also can be imbued with better stats. If players take an item with a number of slots. Indicated by small boxes in the inventory screen, they will be able to imbue it by taking it to a blacksmith and then using either jewelry, a rune, skeleton skull or one of the blacksmith's techniques on it up to as many times as there are slots in it. Once imbued players can remove one rune or piece of jewelry from it, but all other items in the slots are lost when they do this. Though players cannot use a rune or jewelry which is not of their class, they can socket it in an item to gain the benefit of its magical and possible stat-raising properties. <laughs> Skills Every character in Sacred has a different set of skills that are available to them. The only way to obtain them is to find a rune of that particular skill and use it to make it available to use for players. Each character has between 11 and 22 different skills that can be unlocked and used. To increase their level in a skill, players must find another rune for that skill and use it. There are also several combo masters 
spread throughout Ancaria, which can combine up to four separate skills into a combo, which players can use in the game. The combo masters can also trade runes they cannot use or do not need for a rune of their choice. Wrong. Topic: <laughs> Setting. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Storyline. A great Sakara demon was conjured into existence by the necromancer Shadur. The conjuring went wrong, and the Sakara demon is now loose in the world of Ancaria. The heroes must find the five elements of Caesarean wind, fire, earth, water, void, and use them to defeat the monster. They meet Prince Valor, and he thanks them for rescuing Wilbur and orders them to report to Baron de Mordra to bring reinforcements to stop the orc invasion. The Baron betrays them and Wilbur is killed. With his dying breaths he warns the hero to report to the prince that the Baron has betrayed them. The hero arrives at the orc invasion and finds most of Valor's troops have been slaughtered, only Sergeant Treve is left dying and tells the hero to find Baroness Valia, she knows where the prince is. They find Valia, and she leads them to Valor in the forest, where he and his surviving troops take refuge. Each hero has different objectives along the way, but eventually, they all lead up to this one final quest. After killing the traitor de Mordra and reclaiming the throne, the hero goes to the dungeon to summon the Sakara demon and kills it. However after claiming the heart of Ancaria, Shadur reveals himself and captures Valia, and the hero pursues him into his castle to rescue Valia and defeat Shadur. Ancaria The whole of Sacred takes place on the continent of Ancaria, where there are several towns and villages to be visited. Even when players begin the game more than 70% of Ancaria is already available to be travelled on. To the south of Ancaria, there is a vast desert and lava-ridden plains. In the north, there is a wall of mountains and an icy backdrop. In both the east and the west there are large forests, blocking the way and stopping further travel. In the game there is an option to buy horses, which can be used for faster travel and to battle opponents, but will not affect players' ability to traverse difficult terrain in most situations. Reception Sacred was a commercial success and sold 1.5 million units worldwide, including its expansion pack, by July 2006. GameStar highlighted it as a rare crossover hit for Germany, with significant sales volume outside German speaking countries. As of 2006, it had sold 300,000 units in the United States. Worldwide sales rose above 1.8 million copies by 2007 and 2 million by 2009. In April 2004, it received a «Gold» certification from the Verband der Unterhaltungssoftware Deutschland for sales of at least 100,000 units across Germany, Switzerland and Austria. Sacred garnered average to good reviews from the media. 1UP called it «Diablo for masochists», while IGN called it «A diamond in the rough». The editors of PC Gamer US presented Sacred with their «Best Role-Playing Game 2004». Award. Greg Viderman of the magazine wrote that it provides the loot addict with a deliciously strong dose of the good stuff. <laughs> Expansion packs Sacred Plus is a free expansion pack released in October 2004. It adds two regions, monsters, quests, items. Sacred Underworld is an expansion pack developed by Studio 2 Software and Askren Entertainment, and released in August 2005. Two new characters were added next to the six existing ones, Demon and Dwarf. The story picks up after the events in Sacred, taking your character to the underworld of Ancaria to rescue Baroness Vilja. On the review aggregator GameRankings, Underworld had an average score of 74% based on 12 reviews. On Metacritic, the game had an average score of 73 out of 100, based on 10 reviews—indicating mixed or average reviews. Underworld was a finalist for PC Gamer US's Best Expansion Pack 2005 award, which ultimately went to Rollercoaster Tycoon 3. Soaked, Jason Ocampo of GameSpot gave Underworld a rating of 7.0 out of 10, saying the game is 
an example of a Diablo-like action role-playing game taken to the extreme." Comparing the game to Sacred, Ocampo said it, "...offers more of the same, but at a ramped-up level." Ocampo said the game looks good but that, "...hacking your way every ten feet can be a chore." Ocampo also noted that it was nice that the game is set in a predefined world, unlike the randomly generated levels of Diablo. Sacred Gold is a compilation released in August 2005. It contains the main game and the two expansions. See also Sacred 2, Fallen Angel, released in November 2008, is the prequel to Sacred. Sacred Citadel Sacred 3 Video gaming in Germany <laughs>